Hello guys, I'm to win on here back another video on the channel. Today I'm to show you guys how to make an auto cannon. This is the same for most auto cannons. As you can see here, got a basic setup and auto cannon. You click the button, it'll rapid fire so you can the exact same time. You click the battery, it is actually really simple because after this everything for most of the cannons just piece together. Right, I'll show you the steps of how to actually make one. Just click on head and delete all this. Real quick. Delete all that. Right, so obviously you're going to start off with a oh crap. Uh, brand new vehicle. I'm going to make a. I'm just going to make a random plate. You can make this whatever you like. I'm going to to make a tower for it. This must be the neatest thing ever. Well, I'm gonna make it just like this, just for showing purposes. Then what you want to do is put your battery somewhere out of the way, at the back. And you get the cannon, which is going to be for me. What I'm gonna do here is heavy auto cannon. You're gonna place it in the middle of all that, but then you're gonna press L to rotate it so the blue part's facing up. But when the shell comes out the bottom here, at the bottom, so you don't want to block that up. That is one lesson you want to learn, if you block that up. Where the shell's disposed to. Exactly. Nowhere. So I'll be blocking the way. Then what you want to do, is you want to get a auto cannon belt feeder. You want to put one of these this way on either side. Like so. Then, you want to get an auto cannon belt straight. Place about four of these on top of each other. There you go. Four of those. You'll get a button. It's literally as simple as this, guys. Literally really simple. Then you want to connect the. Go into here, go click on electric when you click on the light bulb. So, like logic. Electric. Join up the button and the battery. The cannon. And the battery. Oh crap. Sorry, wrong thing. Um that and the battery. Both of the cannons. Like so. And the feeder with the battery. Both of the feeders. Like this. Then you want to click on data. Connect the pressed to the feeder. Pressed also to the feeder. And then to the trigger. And then, after you've done that, you'll then spawn in. Mine looks about to tip over. Click the button. If you hold it, E, it should start rapidly firing. But, what I do recommend is if I get rid of this, go back on buttons again, you get a toggle button instead. So it automatically fires that you have to hold E on it. So you'll join them up again to, the, to this. Send a bit here, it's toggled. Load it into them too. Click electric. Link them two up again. Do this. Spawn in. You can move this by the way. They're that light. Then click toggle. And then it'll just start rapidly firing. This is how simple it is to make a auto cannon actually work properly. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.